Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to a new video. This is my second to last WWE Battleground 2013 prediction video. Wait for my WWE Battleground 2013 main event prediction video between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton. But this is probably the cold main event for the Battleground pay-per-view, which is between Cody Rhodes and Goldust teaming up for the first time ever facing The Shield, who are one of the best factions we have ever seen in the WWE, especially at this current time. So it's bound to be a really really good match i'm really really happy with how the shield are doing at the moment they're having a great main event push at the moment and so is cody rose which is absolutely phenomenal Goldust has come back as well and it's bound to be a really really good match the beauty of this match in fact is that anything could really really happen i mean you've got cody rose gold dust and dusty Rhodes' jobs on the line and you've also got the shield's momentum on the line because if the shield are going to go into this pay-per-view match and lose against cody rose and gold dust it could hit them pretty hard because Honestly, I haven't had a good main of a good pay-per-view match for quite a while now. I can't really remember the last time they were booked in a decent match where there was a good effort gone into the match. And really, this match has had a good, decent effort towards it. I think the build's been really, really good towards this match. And I think it could be really, really big, big contender to be a show stealer on Sunday night because I think there's been so much effort gone into this match. There's a lot on the line. It's very, very unpredictable. You've got four guys who are bound to put on a really really good match they've got some awesome in-ring chemistry they've got some amazing talents in that ring and it's going to be a really really good match but the beauty about this match is there's so much on the line and I really really like this match this is probably the biggest match I'm looking forward to at the Battleground 2013 pay-per-view but I'm almost certain that Goldust and Cody Rhodes are going to win this match against the Shield get their jobs back well Cody Rhodes is going to get his job back Goldust is going to get rehired by the WWE and Gold Dust, uh, sorry, Dusty Rhodes is going to keep his job at the NXT Development Center because honestly, I think M Cody Rhodes is really, really going to benefit from getting into that main event spot because if Cody Rhodes stays on and he gets rehired by the WWE at this current point in this time where John Cena is not here, I think there's a really, really big chance that Cody Rhodes is going to get the nods and slip into that main event spot for the next few months because really, the only thing that was the the, the downfall of Cody Rhodes before he went away to, on his honeymoon was that Cody Rhodes had never really had a decent chance of being in the main event and I think he's, if he's given that good opportunity he can really show what he's worth and the fact that John Cena is not here gives a huge gap for a guy like Cody Rhodes to slip in there and really really make a name for himself why John Cena isn't there and honestly if they're going to waste time whilst John Cena isn't here and make and make Cody Rhodes still try and get his job back so he's going to if he's going to lose to the Shield at this pay-per-view and then the Stru all trying to make an excuse for, uh, for gold dust and Cody Rhodes to get a job back, they're going to waste some more time where Cody Rhodes can really be making a name for himself when John Cena isn't there. So I think it's pretty much urgent that Cody Rhodes does get hired as soon as possible so that he can take up John Cena's main event spot and really start building himself as a main eventer and I think that would be really, really beneficial for Cody Rhodes. I also think as soon as you get Goldust back, he can really start putting over guys such as Dean Ambrose. I think it'd be great if Goldust can get a really, really good United States title run or possibly put over somebody like Dean Ambrose or somebody like Wade Barrett, somebody like a Curtis Axel. I think it really there's a really Really huge gap in the market in the WWE for somebody like Goldust considering Kane isn't there at the moment he was the number one guy you went to to put over guys to kick people like Chris Jericho people like Big Show who can put over guys I think Goldust fits the bill for putting over guys such as guys like Dean Ambrose who are making their way up in the ranks looking for a main event spot and Goldust really fits that bill and I think as soon as they can get him in the WWE an excuse to rehire him example this match where if he wins he will get rehired by the WWE they can really really use him at the end of the year build guys up ready for a 2014 huge push for a guy like Dean Ambrose, Wade Barrett or Curtis Axel and I think Goldust really really fits the bill for that so you've also got Dusty Rhodes you know, honestly he's still going to be hired anywhere we all know this, they just added that onto the line because they want to add a little bit more spice to it but we all know Dusty Rhodes isn't going to lose his job at NXT because we all know that it's not real, it's fake, WWE isn't real, it's scripted so the Dusty Dusty Rhodes thing doesn't really mean anything, but on screen wise, Dusty, uh, sorry, Goldust and Cody getting their jobs back does really mean quite a lot to the WWE universe. And Goldust has actually signed a contract with the WWE. It's only short term, but on the dirt sheets, it was reported that Goldust did in fact sign a contract earlier this month with the WWE. 
to appear for the next few months in the WWE. So it's pretty much certain Goldust and Cody Rhodes are going to win this match and they are going to get re by the WWE and they're going to start putting over guys such as Goldust going to put over guys. He's going to have a decent run in the WWE whilst he signed this contract and Cody Rhodes can hopefully have a good main event push whilst guys like Cena aren't there and it should be really, really beneficial for the WWE and Cody Rhodes. So that's my prediction, guys. Considering there's a huge gap in the market for Goldust, I think John Cena not there gives a good opportunity for Cody Rhodes as soon as possible to get into that main event spot and the fact that Goldust has now signed a contract with the WWE only short term does pretty much mean that Cold Cody Rhodes and Goldust are going to get the jobs back and I think it's going to be at the Battleground pay-per-view when they do defeat the Shield. So that's my prediction guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Take care. Spite your hair. Remember to like the video.